Hello and welcome to Dream Team Coach TV, sponsored by Betway. I'm Sean Burke, joining me is Andy Taylor, Jack Townsend, Andrew Butler and Nick Elliott. Coming up on this week's show... <laughs> Impossible! Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say probably I've got more than an A-level in so much. Oh my god! I mean, Kane is just a tapping match now. <laughs> it was an insane weekend of Premier League football with 44 goals in total, a new record. This included four goals for Kyung Min Son, a hat-trick for Calvert-Lewin, and a massive blunder for Kepa, as is tradition. And I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but Mike Dean was involved in some refereeing controversy. First time for everything, lads. But after a weekend like that, we've got plenty of juicy reactions to use in our first segment, Guess the Quote, right? I'm gonna share a few quotes from last weekend, and you guys have to guess who said them, okay? Maybe I need to go on a referee's course every season, but I'd rather go away for a few days. It's gotta be Slavon Village. I'm gonna go Chris, Chris Wilder. Wilder. I'd say Chris Wilder, yeah. But Mike Dean could do with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not him. <laughs> it's Chris Wilder. He said it in, during his interview after losing to Aston Villa. He was not a happy man. Did you see his face when he when they started asking him questions? He was yeah. absolutely fuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was kicking off. He he said some hilarious stuff after the game because he was like he was fuming. And you know when those managers just get like like livid and so they just start saying words and he kind of you know I know a lot about this game. I know a lot about. Football, I've, I've got, you know, I've got an A-level in football. I'll, I'd say probably I've got more than an A-level in football. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, more than an A-level. I'd say you've probably got a degree. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, well, we, I've probably got a B-tech. <laughs> I've got a B-tech in football. Yeah. Chris Wilder's only on A-level. His, Some... main, his main gripe was the, obviously, the red card, right? Yeah. yeah. What are we thinking? Um... It's a weird one, because it's like one where, like, I actually want that to be a red card. Like, I think the game would be better. Mm. if defenders weren't allowed to pull back striker when they're running through on goal. But also it's just something that it's one of those things that generally always gets allowed. Like you can pretty much get away with it. So yeah, it's good. I think so, it was good. So it was a good Mike call, Dean. but I can see where well I can see why Wilder was. It wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. That's the wrong oh, gang. No, actually, it was. It was Mike Dean. Mike Dean was the VAR official. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's Flat yeah. Pickens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he was, was he on the pitch. He just confirmed it. Hold it there. We'll continue. Guess the quote right after this week's four to score challenge. It's time for the four to score challenge uh, with Betway. Our sponsor Betway has this week set us a first touch finish challenge as Carlo Ancelotti reportedly cannot get enough of a good first touch finish. So it's left foot, right foot, header, volley. So four shots each and whoever scores the most wins. He's got it. Oh, oh good save. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, and he's in great form today. Everybody's gotten just one, so we have to deal with volley playoff. So here we go. What's this? A cliffhanger? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out who wins this week's four to score challenge. But for now, it's back to guess the quote. I told him, if you want to kill us, kill us. That's all. 
That sounds so Jose Mourinho. Jose. So, I keep on calling him Jose. Jose. And actually. since the documentary, Jose. Just, yeah. Jose. Jo- that sounds so Jose Mourinho. Because he so, loves talking about like say, death, killing, <laughs> winning, yeah. like, you know, passion, yeah. kill, <laughs> die. <laughs> it's What's that like, accent? <laughs> That was almost Arnold Schwarzenegger. (laughs) (laughs) One of of Austria's finest managers. (laughs) (laughs) It was not Jose. I'll go Bilic for that one. It was Bilic. Of course it was Bilic. You just see him storming the pitch going mad. That was him and uh, what he said to Mike Dean, basically. So are we saying Mike Dean correct again then? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, by, Kieran by Gibbs. The, yeah, yeah, I mean, I like, so. Kieran Gibbs pushes Hammond Rodriguez in the face. Well, yeah, so and, like, well, and, for, and for Billich. I guess like, if, yeah. if you're not allowed to come on the pitch, if that's the rule. Then but but if, yeah. if, he, if he, if you know, like you're saying, usually it would be in the tunnel that he would get to have this. Would he have been sent off if he'd had that conversation in the tunnel? I think it's different, isn't it? Those sort of things happen like, but then, they do happen. I think it's like tunnel. a gentleman's agreement where yeah. you can tell someone to F off in the tunnel but yeah. out on the pitch. Right? <laughs> surely, in the, surely in the referee room they should have a phone for like the, the managers to be able to call up during half time. Like, you know, almost like a <laughs> deal, no phone. deal. A it's phone. like, yeah, just like, <laughs> this is what I was going to say in the tunnel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen Slavin Bilic that angry since I bumped into him in Moscow during the Russia World Cup and I asked him for a photo. I was, I was oh. I've gone mad by that stage. It was th- it was three weeks into the tour. We've got the photo. Uh, I've got the photo. Yeah, can we flash it? Oh, yeah, how yeah, yeah. how angry yeah. was he? Was he angry he, in the photo? Even in the photo, he looks like he looks livid. <laughs> what did, what just, did he say? I said, "Hi, Slavin." Can I have a f- picture? It, there was no first yeah, name terms. There, there was. The, <laughs> I was going to Straight call him Mister Billet. Let's cheers. Yeah. This one's going to be a tough one. Impossible. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Jose. And then after he said this, he kicked an ad hoarding. Is, is it Luke Skywalker in <laughs> Empire Strikes Back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kicks a hoarding. That's, that's, that's if they kicked a hoarding. That's a bit of you know what I mean. Not, it, some they managers all, are too placid. Who conceded a lot of goals? I mean, a lot, a lot of teams did. Oh, was you, um, oh, Lisa. Has, Hassan Hussle? Yes, yeah. Oh, After yeah, Spurs' like third oh, goal, yeah. where Sam went on a bit of a run. Yeah. And he was like, impossible! <laughs> <laughs> um, Which is the right reaction, because yeah. Southampton was <laughs> it, abysmal. It was like, absolute was, suicide. It was, it? There's, there's, it was there's, so there's, weird. there's something quite embarrassing about like the same player assisting the same yeah. goal score over and over again. In the yeah. same way. In, it's just <laughs> like, oh, who really thought, oh, you know, like, it's about learning from your mistakes in a game. Like, yeah. Kane's but passing is, is, uh, is, Kane. is underrated, oh. and his assists were brilliant, but mm. like, it's just like, you could even just like watch it on TV, you're just like, hang on, their back four is there? <laughs> Cla- absolute class from Kane. Like, it wasn't that long ago that people were talking about him being like, you know, tapping, merchant penalties. Mm. And, everyone, and most people trying to, you know, like, and there was a bit of early talk from that. Actually, he's pretty good when he drops deep and, you know, used to play like number 10, like attacking midfield, that sort of stuff. And now there's, I don't think there's anyone that could like doubt the fact that his passing is as good as his finishing. Yeah. Like, he's so good. I've got one more of them. Are you crazy? We never ever do that, okay? Oh, that was uh, Klopp. Yeah. About cheering. Uh, what was it? Christensen a red, sending off. A red card, yeah. Yeah, the backroom staff and or some players applauded it. Oh, really? And he was on the Twitter and he goes, are you crazy? We never ever do that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Schwarzenegger again. It's the se- <laughs> second Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. I've seen a lot of people suddenly change their mind from City to Liverpool after two games. City have just played one game. Yeah. Yeah. Can, and, be, and, 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 and we're really right. good. Yeah. 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 Decent, yeah. I just don't get it. It's so fickle, isn't it? Welcome, yeah. to, welcome to football, mate. All right. Although yeah. Wolves were poor. <laughs> and you've, have you lost Jota as well? Was he what? What ranked player was he for Wolves? Well, he was probably about sixth, probably. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he can't be sixth as well as Doherty. No, Doherty Mate, was eight. He, he didn't even he didn't even come off the bench in our yep. first week, and we beat Sheffield United. Absolutely battered them. I thought Doherty so, was your sixth though. Yeah, he who's, was who's number one? Who's number one? Number one will be Raúl. Oh, yeah. I mean, comfortably number one. Yeah. And two, you're probably looking at Bolly. Three, you're looking at Neves. Four, you're looking at Cody. Five, you're looking at Patricio. Six, probably tr- Jota, Martino. Six, uh, well, maybe, so maybe it's higher than that. <laughs> Martino is probably more important. S- arguments to be said that um, Saez is probably more important. Look, I don't, I don't, don't be wrong, to watch him when he plays on form, unbelievable player. Like, love to watch him. And I'm gutted to see him go. But in terms of import, if Raul goes, I'm done. That's it. I mean, no, I, 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 I won't be watching many more games. Like, he's that. He's, I mean, I was thinking, is he the best striker in the world at the moment? 
he, you, you know, there's an argument for it. Is there? Lewin- Lewandowski. Maybe Lewandowski. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Je- Lewandowski just about. <laughs> right, look, seriously, honestly, he's that good. Well, that's the, he's that's that good. The, that's the title he of this week's episode. episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. He walks into any Premier League side. He walks into Madrid. He walks into Barca. He walks into Juve. That does Pre- say more about Premier League Barca, side. <laughs> no, but I, like, okay, is he not in the top three in the world? <laughs> no. no. Who's, who's the other two then? Kane. Yeah, I think, I think Kane's better. All round, I'm reckon I'm, I'm fancying yeah. him. We've just know. talked about how good round all round. So if, if, love, if, no, love. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah. So you this would, is what annoyed me. If if, if, yeah, if there was a proposed swap deal tomorrow, him and Ez Kane, you'd be oh, gutted about that, would you? I would be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would be. No, because him and Ez offers more to us than from what Kane offers. I mean, Kane is just a tapping merchant. <laughs> 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 no, no. This is the, this is what annoyed me about last week as well because. The Mane Pulisic debate rose its ugly head, and I was sided with Pulisic. But I did say both are world class, and yeah, I've yeah. got a bit of pelters, you know, the odd comment saying, What a moron, like he doesn't rate Mane. Yeah. If I'm calling the player world class, and that's sounds me like slating. Sounds like you're wanting to mm. double down on the comments this, this no, week. No, I'd still go Pulisic. That's, that's, like, just, I, I'm not going to no, go just because he scored two. I, goals. I, know, I know what you mean. I, I mean, I would have scored Mane second, by the way. You know. uh, yeah, I would. I, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I don't know if I would have. <laughs> I don't know. know. You wouldn't know. Why? Because you you're, 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 you're not quick enough and alert enough to close, to close it down. Well, how do you know how alert I am? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the memes and it's four for the price of none as we put out four DT Coach memes every week over on our Instagram page and we ask you lovely people to vote on your favourite. So if you're not already following us on Instagram, head over to our page and get it sorted. Right. Who's up first? So this was not me that made it, but it was on my behalf. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're sure and shocking fool. You can't just <laughs> couple together a meme. How busy I, are you? I had a little break away this weekend to oh, Wales. Fair yeah, so. so you can't make memes yeah. in Wales? Yeah, yeah no. you can't. They don't exist. They don't, they don't, they don't, they're still on 2G. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. So I like this. I think it's this was really Graz. This is yeah. Graz, isn't it? Another, another Spurs on. Graz is incapable of thinking about any special <laughs> Did this come, did he, yeah, did you make this before Bale got official? Oh. And did he make this before Kane he, set up four and uh, scored one? Oh. Yes, yeah, before so. the weekend. It's busy this one, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a lot. Wow. Yeah, the world is even more. There's a lot of text on the screen, isn't oh, it? Oh, oh we go. there you go. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I don't really know if it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, is Nick? Is this yours? This is me. Very simple to understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's, no, it's just it's, there's something to be said for a touch of simplicity. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Straight that's to nice. the point. Yeah, yeah thank you. To the point. And yeah, the state of this is <laughs> a lot of work. But yeah, there's a lot going on here. Um, <laughs> but also, to be fair, that's about two top sixteen, so it's probably one. <laughs> yeah. Well, we will find out now. Okay, in Man United, I don't take the top sixteen. Last place <laughs> with 152 votes is Andy Taylor. It's, yeah. yeah, it's poor. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to start doing them. It was it was a poor week across the board. If that makes you feel any better. Um, in third place with 292 votes. Is Nick? Oh, oh, that's, that's a gross. shame. That's the two gross. simplest memes have done so the poorest. We Weirdly, Route One towns in there. Got Route One towns in. In second place, similar guts. Four hundred sixty-five <laughs> votes. Is Jack? See, you oh, give me oh, all yeah. this. Give me all this. <laughs> Grass is very complex manifesto <laughs> that you uploaded. A one with 614 votes. Congratulations. It's a low score of that though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, made yeah. it into four figure lines. <laughs> no one got over a thousand likes this wow. week. We've got a DT coach derby this weekend as Jack's Liverpool face my Arsenal at Anfield. Liverpool have had a recent surge in transfer activity by Thiago and a surprise swoop for Diogo Jota since we last recorded. We reached out to Wolves' official spokesperson for comments, but Andy was too emotional to speak at the time. We're going to have a stat off in preparation for this fixture. Okay, so Jack and Butler will argue in favour of Liverpool using five stats of their choosing. And Nick and Andy will speak on behalf of Arsenal using five stats of their choosing. I'll pick a winner. 
Uh, let's hope I'm not biased in any way. <laughs> yeah. We've got some stats coming your way. So oh, yeah? Right now. Nick's done some tremendous work. As well. Andy right. has done no research. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, right. I'm happy to carry him this week. <laughs> uh, okay, the last time the two sides drew one all, Liverpool then went on to win the next fixture 5-1. So I mean, so what more do you need? In the community shield, you know. That's a weak. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whoa, okay, well, I suppose. Man. I suppose the counter to that would be the last time these two met, it was a one-all draw. Arsenal ended up winning a penalty. So the last time these two met in the league, Arsenal won two-one. That's, That's our yeah. counter stat. <laughs> they won last time. Good one. That's much well, more relevant. Oh, the last time these two drew one all, it was 5 1 the game after. As if that's like a coincidence. <laughs> As if that's more not. of a pattern than last time they've played each other. Of the seven times Arsenal have faced Thiago, they've only won once. Well, oh, that's, that's, that's more like it. That's, that's, yeah. that's fine. Uh, Hit him with one. Hit him, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a good one Arsenal have conceded eight goals in their last 10 games, Liverpool have conceded 15 in the same amount of games. That is league games, but yeah. But how many have they scored? Like, it was the who scored more? Like, well, you no, tell I us. Think, that. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's, that's supposed I'm to be only angle. giving you. The, <laughs> <laughs> you have got you, here. You tell us that, mate. It's your stuff. <laughs> All right, to, but to counter that point, the not always prolific Roberto Firmino, um, Arsenal are the club that Firmino has scored most goals against in his career. Right, right. right. let's, let's talk right. managers, right? Let's talk managers. In his career, Jurgen Klopp averages one point eight. Five points per game. Mikhail Arteta averages 2.05. Better manager. <laughs> Stats, Stats aren't lie. Stats. <laughs> Stats aren't lie. Okay, well, while on the subject of managers, to counter that, <laughs> in their playing days, Mikel Arteta lost six times to Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp has never lost to Arsenal. <laughs> in their playing Klopp. days. In their playing days? <laughs> <laughs> Jürgen, okay, so yeah. Jürgen Klopp, who never played against Arsenal, has never lost against Arsenal. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Sean, sure, I hope you're taking this on board, mate. Yeah. Yeah. This is thin. Oh, I have to that's be more about this in this but you're not convinced of that. It's thin. in stats. That, that, that might be relevant if Arteta names himself in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be interesting. He's, well, still, I just get, he's still getting rattled, right? <laughs> okay. Shall I, I hit him with that? We've got a similar one on that. Yes. No, don't, don't drop to there. Don't drop to there. Pathetic. Okay, so this isn't even a stat. I'm just going to throw it out there. Arteta, his last 12 games as a player against Liverpool, he only lost once. Well, oh, we've got two good ones left, haven't we? <laughs> good ones. Well, we choose they wisely. Are, uh, you should have used one of them instead of your two rubbish ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. You go, go with your gut. Go with your gut. <laughs> <laughs> this is our final one. Since the creation of the Premier League, Liverpool have never lost to Arsenal at Anfield when the game has been played behind closed doors. Oh, <laughs> <that's>, okay. <laughs> you, like, you had such an advantage having to like be pro Liverpool. You yeah, exactly. like, these yeah. Like, silly stats. So, yeah. How have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> there's, not, there's not a lot to go with. What do you not have a lot to go with? Like, <laughs> like the champions. Like, you can, I'm sure like Liverpool's front three have scored more goals than Arsenal ever have. <laughs> <laughs> What's the final nail of oh, The Final one, Alisson has never kept a clean shot against Arsenal. Well, we've actually that's got that, that one. I love that one. <laughs> right, okay. Come on, that's a, that yeah. was a massacre. Yeah. I thought this was actually going to be harder to hide my decision. <laughs> well, you pretty much, or the fact that you're going, oh, the final nail in the coffin about three <laughs> answers ago. Like, <laughs> yeah. at least give us I, something. Do you remember what you said up to that point? Some <laughs> of those stats. Mm, so stats. Arsenal are going to win then. I Damn. think Arsenal are going to win it. <laughs> You've convinced me, lads. Fair play. It wasn't close. Everybody's gotten just one, so we have to do a volley playoff. So, here we go. Ah! Oh! 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 he's converted it. All right, well, congratulations, Butler. Or no, who won? Who got that? <laughs> Butler. Butler won. Uh, if you want to play the Betway's Fort to Score Challenge, just go to betway.com forward slash Fort to Score and pick the first four goal scores on their chosen pictures from this weekend. I'm going to, let's get indoors. We have to get indoors. It's time for a quick look at our dream teams to see what changes we've made since our last update. And surprise, surprise, I am third, last. Uh, but hopefully, I'll get some useful tips today. So. What tips would you give me, lads? Andy, uh, what changes have you made? So up? what are you third in, like our little... In our, uh, in our like, 
and who's official one? and who's who's first in that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're top, Andy. Are you? Am you're you're, in saying you're that? top. I'm second at the moment. Okay. Resident experts, then. Well, what changes well, well, have you you've, been you've doing? You've brought Calvert Lewin in, haven't you? Yeah, I brought Calvert Lewin in before the West Brom game. I thought that was an absolute no-brainer. Oh, you um, smashed it in there. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, and Hammers as well. Just West Brom, just they haven't. I mean, they haven't made many defensive additions. You know, I mean, Branislav Ivanovic, jeez. You know, they have got a lot of quality going forward. West Brom as well. I think mm. that's what must be quite frustrating. I well, like we were saying what two or three weeks ago that about Pereira being a potential dream team mm. gem. He scored a great goal. He did. Yeah, assist, he did. Mm. Assisted and Dean Garners. I know yeah. Dean Garners was mostly a solo effort, but he also got the assist there. So I think you, sh- you saw what he can do when, uh, mm. when West Brom aren't shipping goals at the other end. What changes have you made, Lance? Have you made any? Uh, my tips would be not to make any rash decisions. <laughs> Because I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, took, I, I was like, oh, I took Kane out and then I put Salah in. Oh, and then yeah. Kane's gone and had an absolute weldy. Like, <laughs> absolute nightmare. That's and then who else did I take rash. out? I think, oh, I've, well, I, put it, I brought in Fernandez and then I brought in, I think I got Dekure in and then he's got that's, minus one. That's rash as well. Yeah, it's just a good lot of player, but not Good player, but not one who's like, Whose ability I, translates to dream team points? Yeah, I think I think I, I think I brought him in to make bring down the price to bring in like mm. a front three. Well, have you made any changes? I haven't made any changes. I'm going to make lots of changes next week. Yeah, um, to get rid of them before October comes along, and then come October I'll be looking to get Gareth Bale. Ooh, exactly. Mind. And when as and when the time comes, once he's not injured. Once, uh, injured. Uh, what do you reckon he's going to be price wise? Bale. He's already in the game. Is he? He's in where is he? five and a half. Yeah. All right. What's that kind of same level as? Or a little yeah. bit more than Vardy, is it? I think same as Vardy. No, Vardy started at five, I think. Okay. Has he gone up? A little bit more than Vardy, but like a million less than your proven forwards like is he in Salah. Is, is he in as a forward? I don't, I don't know that value really. Because um, uh, Werner's f- was 4.5, wasn't he? And you'd like so you tell me four? no I think we might have even been four four you know? oh, you tell me Bale was one and a half million more than Werner <laughs> what position is he in the game is he forward, forward, forward yeah. yeah okay not All for right. me I, w- I won't be seeing Bale in my team yeah. not for me you heard it here first. <laughs> we'll check up on that later in the season. <laughs> <laughs> that is all from us this week, folks. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Dream Team Coach TV brought to you by Betway. If you haven't used your September substitutions yet, Give them a try. You never know. It might work out. But for now, we'll talk to you next week.